Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video is about pistachio. I fell in love with a fragrance by Laura Mercier years and years ago. It was called Crown de Pistache. That fragrance became discontinued and I was crushed and I have been on the hunt for the perfect pistachio perfume ever since that time. I have tested and tried so many pistachio perfumes to look for that holy grail pistachio fragrance. Did I find my holy grail pistachio fragrance? Probably not. Did I find some that I like a lot? Yes, I did. Did I find some that were surprising and I didn't like them? Yes, and there were some that were just straight up disappointments. And I bring you 10 pistachio fragrances today. Yes, not just that have a little bit of pistachio, that are really pistachio forward. In addition to that, I have, I think, three body butters and body creams that are really good and have a heavy note of pistachio. And with that, I am just going to dive right in, but before I do that, let me know in the comments what your favorite pistachio fragrances. Chances are I have tried it, but I'm always open to find new gems and you guys are always so good about finding something I don't know anything about. And I also have a teeny little giveaway, one of these perfumes that happens to be one of my favorite. I actually have a nice travel spray and I will be giving it to somebody at the end of the video. And with that, let's just dive right in. I'm gonna start my list with some budget-friendly options. And the first one is one by Demite and it is called Pistachio Ice Cream. And I think there are two notes listed, pistachio and ice cream. Rather straightforward. And that's really what I get. I get, the kind of pistachio I get in here is like a pistachio flavoring, like a sweet pistachio flavoring. If you've ever tried to make anything with the pistachio flavor, there's a pistachio flavoring and a pistachio extract. The pistachio flavoring that you use in foods is sweeter than the extract. And that's what I get in here. I get a pistachio flavoring and I get something very creamy like an ice cream cone. So it does smell like a pistachio ice cream cone. It's heavy, it's fairly heavy on some sort of vanilla note. It's probably the ice cream and it's good for the first hour. And then like all Demetés, at least on me, it really kind of disappears at hour like one to two. Even if I spray on clothes, I can only get like two hours and it has a subtle, I don't know, something a little bit plasticky and slightly artificial in the dry down. So for me, this was kind of a miss. It wasn't really what I was looking for. Now it could be a good bedtime scent if you only want something that smells really good for a couple hours. So as you're settling down a bedtime scent, something quick and light, and this is very affordable. I wanna say I paid around 20 some odd dollars for pistachio ice cream. So the next affordable option is one by Urban Outfitters and this is called Pistachio, pistachio Brulee. I wanna say I paid somewhere in between 18 to $22. I cannot remember exactly because I've had this for a couple years and I do have several of these little perfume sprays. They're very nice but they tend to be very light wearing and for me, I think these are great for people who don't want to be heavy handed or smell very heavily of fragrance when they are around people. These are very light wearing. These fragrances, in my opinion, are good for people who want just a little more than a skin scent. And in this one, I think there are three notes. Um, vanilla, pistachio, and like a milk mousse. So what I get right away, or the pistachio that I get is similar to the pistachio in like Sol Cherosa 62, which we, you will see in a bit. I get that same nuttiness, that same pistachio note. It is, it's nice and creamy. It's not as sweet and vanillic. It's not as, it doesn't go into the ice cream zone. It's more of kind of like a pistachio mousse a nutty mousse or a nutty cream. As it dries down though, it gets a little bit fresher. There's some sort of freshness in here. The note isn't listed, but I do get a slight freshness. And the type of fragrance I get here is like a cleaner, more fresher version of the Sol Gerosa 62. So this one, and again, is very affordable, but very light wearing, and I get maybe two to three hours with this one. So if you're good with that, this one could be a very good alternative. Speaking of an iconic pistachio fragrance, I do have the Sal Chirosa 62. 
Now I love this so much that I could not find my original bottle. I searched and searched and searched. This was last summer and I splurged and got a second bottle because I did not know what happened to my original bottle and at that time my fragrance storage was very haphazard and I thought I had just lost it or put it in some sort of box that got thrown out and as I was cleaning my room one day under my bed it had kind of rolled under my bed so now that I had two bottles I gave the original bottle away and I have the second one because I enjoyed it so much so to me this is a warm buttery nutty summer gem. I get pistachio, almond, I get caramel and sandalwood, and I know the coconut is not listed, but I do get some sort of coconutty vibe. It's not overly prominent, but it definitely is in the background. For sure, the pistachio note is kind of front and center. This is a very nutty fragrance, but I like the addition of the other notes. It, I can detect the sandalwood. I do kind of get a little caramelly sweetness, and it is sweet, but in my opinion, it's not overly sweet or overly gourmand, and that may be the salt that's kind of saving it. And it's one of the very few gourmand heavy, particularly nut heavy fragrance that I wear in the summer. This just works for me. It's a great fragrance. The lasting power is pretty decent. I wanna say like five or six hours and one that I really, really enjoy. So an iconic pistachio fragrance. The next one, I'm pretty sure you've never heard of because again, I was on the hunt for that perfect pistachio fragrance. This one is by a brand called Dr. Sweet Tooth and I have a ton of their products right now. Body creams and some hair and body mist that I'm playing with, but some of the fragrance scents are Jelly Donut, Waffle Cone, Whipped Cream, can Cotton Candy, Marshmallow Fluff. So this is really a gourmand lover's dream fragrance house, and I found them on Etsy. Anyway, so they have a fragrance called Pistachio Macaroon, and this is a perfume. The one I bought is, I think it's a third of an ounce, and I wanna say I got it around $27. So, so that would be like 80, $81 an ounce. So the price point is somewhere in the middle, but I do really like this cute little bottle. And I knew that if I didn't like it, I could probably give it to my daughter. So what I get from this is a very intense pistachio flavoring or extract that is kind of missing in a lot of other fragrances that, I'm, that I've talked about and I will be talking about. So not only does this have a prominent pistachio, but I definitely pick up an almond, a sweet almond note like marzipan. So you have this pistachio and marzipan-y almond. So it's, it's very sweet, it's very decadent, just like you would expect, from a perfume house called Dr. Sweet Tooth. So this kind of comes off to me like an almond pistachio cookie. It's less creamy. It's less ice creamy, it's a little bit more starchy, it's more nutty and dry, kind of like a cookie. So a really good interpret, a really good sweet interpretation of a pistachio fragrance with a heavy hand of like a marzipani almond, and that translates into a very delicious, sweet, nutty cookie of a fragrance. So longevity wasn't great. I had to spray on clothes and I got at least four hours of decent wear and I could smell it throughout the day. It was just over a skin scent, but that was if I sprayed on clothes. So Pistachio Macaron by Dr. Sweet Tooth, a fun little find that I recently discovered. And if I hadn't said already, I found it on Etsy. Now the next two are from a fragrance house called Ganache. And this house has been kind of a mess over the years. I think they were well known for being like the go-to gourmand fragrance house and then they changed ownerships and they were going to go out of business and somehow, I don't know, I really don't know the backstory. They might have been bought out or someone else took over the company. They kind of revived the website and the fragrance house kind of got back up and running. However, at least I know from having friends who have ordered from them before, the customer service has been a little bit hit and miss. I personally haven't had any issues and I've probably made four big orders from them over the past couple years. I will say the most recent order took a little bit longer to ship than what I'm used to. I wanna say at least two weeks to get to me. But anyways, I have two fragrances from Ganache. The first one I'm gonna talk about 
is one they don't have on their website anymore, but I have seen fragrances come and go on that website. I've seen them get sold out and then a year later they pop up again. So I don't know if this is going to come back, but I'm gonna talk about it quickly. And this one is Pistachio Gelato. So this one has some really interesting notes. It has maybe pistachio CO2 oil. It has some, it has like oily notes. CO2 oily notes, something like that. So pistachio, we have some oily notes. It has a biscuit note. That's what got me was the biscuit note. I will buy pretty much any perfume if it has a note of biscuit. So we know it's going to be sweet and it also has a, like a custard note. So custard, biscuit, oily pistachio notes. I mean, you're kind of speaking in my language. -a. Yes, it starts off very custardy, very thick and creamy and custardy and over time, it moves into that kind of biscuit territory, like a pistachio biscuit. It gets drier, it gets nuttier, it gets lighter. It's very thick and heavy in the beginning. I get, I guess it's those kind of oily notes and it does wear slightly oily, but over time it does get lighter. Lighter, more airy, more dusty, more, more biscuit-like. And then poof, at hour two, in my experience, it kind of disappears. So the newer release, or what's on the website now, is called Pistachio Cream, and they are different. It's not a re-release, they are different perfumes. Let me get a spray here because when you do these single note reviews, it can be hard to kind of pick out nuances. You have to smell them on the spot to remember what the differences are. Oh gosh, I get it right away. I get like this butterscotchy. So this is very custardy, very sweet, nutty, has a little bit of a butterscotch vibe, and instead of going in the drier territory as pistachio gelato, this one stays creamy. So I would put this in between like a pistachio ice cream and a pistachio custard. My mouth is watering. So this one has some really delicious decadent notes. It has white chocolate. There is a toasted pistachio. I wanna say there's caramel and um, yeah, vanilla. Vanilla ice cream or vanilla. So very much a creamy, milky, sweet, custardy, caramel concoction that definitely has pistachio in here. It does have that pistachio flavoring, but it's really kind of combined or infused with these other custard-like or ice cream-like notes. I definitely get like a salted caramel vibe. So there is salt of some sort and it kind of tamps down the sweetness in the dry down just a little bit but this is still very much a sweet fragrance. And even though the, the longevity isn't stellar, it's much better than pistachio gelato. I get, again, like two hours on this one. And if I spray on clothes, I will get at least four hours with this one. A good, sweet, custardy, ice creamy, caramelly pistachio concoction that has, I would say, mild to moderate longevity, and the price is really good. Oh, I got this one for $25, so the price is very good. It, <coughs> excuse me, I got choked up how good it was. It's $25 an ounce, so I got it on a recent sale. So that's very, very well-priced. So I think a very well-priced, decadent, gourmandy pistachio fragrance, pistachio cream. So the name of this video should have been Shock, Awe, and Disappointment because that's basically what I experienced when I did all this testing and exploration to find the perfect pistachio fragrance. And I am doing much less blind buying this year, which has really served me well, particularly with this next fragrance I'm going to talk about. I was so tempted to blind buy this perfume because it is named Pistachio. I bought four decants and poured them into two little atomized sprayers. And I was so grateful I did that. Because it's named Pistachio by Diaz and Durga, I thought it would be a home run, knock out of the park, pistachio fragrance, and I could not be more wrong. This should be named, renamed, Patchouli. I don't even know what the notes are. I think the notes are just pistachio. This is patchouli. This is 90% patchouli, and I'm a patchouli lover. I love patchouli but this is what this fragrance is. It's patchouli, 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 and maybe if I hallucinate in the dry down, it's some sort of kind of nutty amber. So 90% patchouli and 10% maybe a nutty amber in the dry down. This is one of the least gourmandy of all of the fragrances I will talk about, 
and it's definitely one you want to sample if you are looking for that holy grail pistachio fragrance because I can tell you for me it is not and again this is the second full decant or sample I made because I had to get all those crappy little samples from Lucky Scent and put it into my own atomizer but I you know I was kind of done after the first atomizer I didn't think I was missing anything I thought I interpreted it very well and it's really not a pistachio at least for me I pick up patchouli so definitely make sure I mean everything you should probably test if you can but this one is very expensive I think it's pretty close to $300 for a 100 ounce bottle so that one was my big disappointment. The next one for years was kind of known as the fragrance, as the pistachio fragrance, and I did not like it three years ago when I bought it. I thought it was a sweet, syrupy mess, and I bought it in the summertime, and it was just too cloying, too awful. I got rid of it fairly quickly. And then, like a dummy, I thought, well, maybe my tastes have changed. Maybe because I bought it in the summer and I wore it when it was too hot, I didn't do the fragrance justice and like I said, like a dummy, I bought it again thinking that I might change my mind. Now that perfume I'm talking about is called Girl of Now and I know I'm going to make a lot of enemies because I know so many people love it and it just does not work out for me. Before all I was getting was like sweet syrupy goop and this time around, and I know it's legit, I buy my fragrances from legit places. It just, I got overwhelming florals. This to me, I am just getting so much of this. This is a white flower orange fragrance that has pistachio listed. I'm getting a lot of orange. I have not looked up the notes in forever. You would think I would do that in preparation for this video, but I didn't do it for this one. But I know there's some sort of white flowers in here. I'm gonna guess orange blossom. Maybe it's jasmine, but there are white flowers that are just screaming in my face, and there is orange in here. I get orange. If there's no orange, I don't, I don't know what to say. Maybe it's from the orange blossom, but that's what I'm getting, this syrupy, sweet orange floral. Now, I get, I have done testing on all these very pistachio-heavy fragrances, so maybe it's just that all the other ones have a lot more pistachio, but the pistachio in this is subtle this has a subtle nuttiness in the dry down and performance is pretty decent i would say this is definitely in the four hours and up like four to six hours and up particularly if you over spray it i can't imagine over spraying this it would just give me a big giant headache but i did have to mention one of the iconic pistachio fragrances that i know is probably a love for one of you out there it just you know, potato, potato, it just didn't work out for me. Somebody's treasure is another person's not treasure. Girl of now, which is not my girl of now. It was, it's my girl of not now. <laughs> so now we're getting to my favorites. We're getting to the big guns. And I'm gonna talk about the two best pistachio perfumes out of this whole lot, in my opinion, ones that are very pistachio forward. One of them, of course, is a pistachio fragrance that is getting tons of hype. To be honest, I never look at YouTube reviews before I do my videos because I don't want to have any type of subliminal suggestion in my mind. So, but I do know from being over on Instagram that opinions and feedback have been all over the place and I just pretty much assumed that I wasn't going to like it. I knew I didn't want to go out and blind buy it. I was going to sit back and kind of wait and literally out of nowhere, this showed up on my doorstep. So I did get this um, in PR. Now, if you have been watching me for a long time, I'm not gonna show anything that I don't like. If I don't like it, you're not gonna see it. In fact, I just got a fragrance from PR that was very, very expensive that I ended up sending back. I just, it just wasn't for me and I didn't have anything positive to say about it. So I was worried about testing this one because it's getting a lot of, I'm gonna say mixed reviews. So. I will say that I was very nicely surprised how much I love this one. I was very nicely surprised that I do fall into the camp that I really, really, really enjoy this. And I realized I loved it when I smelled it on my daughter. Now, I will say the opening did surprise me. So what I get, <laughs> sounds kind of crazy, I get a combination of lemon ice cubes, like lemonade ice cubes, a subtle dry nuttiness, 
and I get Lily of the Valley. I know that it's like a note that's way down in the background. That's what I get. I kind of get the middle notes up front. You know, the top notes are all these decadent notes. There's pistachio, whipped cream, ice cream, cotton candy, marshmallow. I mean, I'm all over that. That's not what I get right up front. I get more of the middle notes. I get, it's kind of fresh. So I get this crazy sweet lemon ice cube nuttiness heading into a Lily of the Valley shampoo. It's all very pleasant, but it's not as gourmand forward as I thought. However, in the dry down is when I start getting those top notes. That's when it gets a lot more decadent. I would say 45 minutes in, I start to get really this pistachio gelato type of a fragrance. So it's not as like heavy and ice creamy or cookie-like like some of the other ones I've talked about. This is really a lighter interpretation of an ice cream. It's a gelato. I went to Italy. I had gelato all the time. So gelato is lighter. It's more airy. I think there's more air whipped into it. And I think they really went for that vibe when they produced this fragrance. They wanted a light airiness to it. And I think they did do a very good job capturing that, capturing that vibe, capturing that feeling. And I remember my daughter got into the car as we were heading to go out for Easter, you know, Easter mass, Easter brunch. And she walked by me and I was like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. What is that? And I hadn't had this one that long in my collection. I was still kind of testing it. And she said, mom, it's the, the green bottle that was out in the front. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's Yum Pistachio Gelato. That's that new one from Kayali I got. And she smelled amazing. I had probably smelled her when she was about an hour in. So the fresher notes had kind of faded and she was really deep into the pistachio gelato part. It was just very creamy, very sweet. It was creamy, sweet, light, whipped, marshmallowy. It was yummy. This does have a little bit of kind of that little cookie note, like a pistachio cookie. Like pistachio cookie and a pistachio gelato with marshmallow came together. <laughs> so I actually like this a lot and longevity is not a problem for me. One of the longer performing of the bunch, I get a solid four to six hours and I do not overspray this one. Now the good news is, is when they sent this to me, they sent me, where is it? I got a nice little travel spray. So for all of you guys who have wanted to try it, I have a nice little travel spray. So if you wanna be included in this tiny little giveaway, let me know below, just say yum. And I'll know that you want to be included in the giveaway. And I have a lot of people tell me in the comments, all the time that they don't have a chance to get to shops or stores or they don't have a Sephora or they can't go out and test these. So this is a good way to test a very hyped pistachio fragrance. So pistachio yum gelato is a win-win in my book. And I'd love for one of you guys to have the little travel spray. And the last one I think is tied for my favorite with pistachio yum gelato. And it is frangipani al pistachio. And this is by Kais, I got to sample this like over a year ago. Before it was even released, I had made an order from Kais and they had sent me a little sample and it wasn't, it wasn't released yet and I loved it and I knew I wanted to buy a full, full bottle. This one I absolutely love. I was a little bit of afraid of the frangipani. I just thought pistachio, frangipani, I don't know if those are gonna go together. This is a gourmand, this is a pistachio forward fragrance. So what I get from this is a thick almond pistachio ice cream in a delicious waffle cone. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry and thirsty. I have to get a drink of my coconut water. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. So an almond pistachio ice cream in a thick, like if you had a waffle cone and made it from like a cookie, that's what this is right here, it's delicious. It does have a sweet almond in here. The almond is like an almond extract. It's a sweet almond flavoring, almond extract. So almond does play pretty prominently in here with that pistachio. So that real heavy sweetness that starts off with a bang does fade a little bit. So over maybe about 15, 30 minutes, it goes from really, really gourmandy, the sweetness fades, and I do get more of a, the dry, nutty pistachio comes out a lot more. It becomes more dry, it becomes more nutty, almost like the shell of the almond and the shell of the pistachio are kind of mixed in here. So very dry, very, very nutty, and the almond or the nuts kind of move into a 
more bitter territory, not quite going bitter, but certainly dry and away from that really sweet gourmandy opening that this one has. So the dry down is more about dry nuts and maybe a little bit of woods in here and less about more of that ice creamy, creamy goodness. And the, I would say the longevity is really good. I would say it rivals pistachio yum gelato. So these are my two favorite right here. These are phenomenal pistachio fragrances in my opinion and neither one of these you have to blind buy you can get samples of both quick battery change but i think what i was saying was these right here are my two top pistachio fragrances at the moment neither of which you have to blind buy and kais fragrances is now being carried by lucky scent and i've always ordered from the kais website because she carries all sorts of sizes in her samples i think only one, there's only one sample option or one, I think there's only one sample option on Lucky Scent where her website, in the past at least, she's had several different options for sizes. So now I'm gonna quickly end with some body creams, which I think are absolutely crucial when pairing some of these pistachio fragrances because as I, as I have discovered, none of them are monster mode. None of them last forever and ever and ever. And I think some of these body creams actually bring out some really good nuances of a lot of these fragrances. So I always have been pairing and will do in the future, I will pair some of these body creams. I have some winners. And as I said in the beginning, I was looking for that holy grail creme de pistache, you know, substitution from Laura Mercier. And even though I didn't find it on the perfume end, I found it in a body cream. And let me tell you, I am a body cream, body lotion, body butter snob, and I think I found one of my favorite body creams of all time, and I'm gonna talk about it. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Boom Boom Cream. This one goes great with the perfume, and I've paired this with many things. This and Santal Complet. Santal Complet from Fragrance Du Bois has a terrible longevity on me, and this one is something that allows it to last. So this one is great for pairing with a lot of fragrances that have like a soft, sweet sandalwood or anything. I think this one pairs well with anything in the bunch. Another uh, body butter, body cream. This is a body butter that I found on Etsy from, this is from Rosella's Radiance and this is Pistachio Dream. This is, this is a nutty pistachio cookie. So this is very nutty and the way that this body butter goes out, it, it spreads like shea butter. If you've ever worked with solid shea butter, it's like it is literally a butter. It's solid one moment and you heat it in your hands the next moment and it becomes an oil. It goes from solid to oil very quickly. It does lend a, a nice sheen to your skin. It doesn't seem to sink in. It's more of like a sheen and it's moisturizing and I think it's good, not my favorite. My favorite is this one right here. This one blows them all out of the water. This one is called Pistachio Macaroons by Bedtime, by Bath Time Confections. I found this one on Etsy. Oh my gosh, this one is creme de pistache. This one is Laura Mercier's creme de pistache. This one is going to be my holy grail body butter. And I've also, I also bought another one in the line at the same time called Espresso. Oh my gosh, the best coffee body butter of all time. I love the consistency of this. It's very creamy, it's soft, and this smells delicious. So this is my very favorite pistachio body butter. I will probably be more deferential to this one when I am layering with my pistachio fragrances. That is it for my pistachio video. Don't forget if you wanna be involved in the little travel spray giveaway. Now it's not much, but it's it could be a lot for some people who really don't have access to sniffing this one in the store and don't live close to anything. Let me know in the comments. Just say yum and I will know you wanna be entered. Did I miss anything? I don't think so, but let me know in the comments if I did. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for supporting me. I'd love to hear what you think about the video in the comments below. And with that, I will hopefully see you on the next one.